video I've been wanting to do for a while. I couldn't quite figure out how I was going to film it because this is my cleaning cupboard but it's normally in the bathroom and I couldn't just couldn't get the camera into there so I thought I would bring it out into the kitchen and talk you through what's in my cleaning cupboard. This cupboard, um, we've had it for a while. I think it was originally from home base but I want to say we've had it like three or four years. It's not in the best of condition but I keep my cleaning products in it so I'm not too worried. And uh, this is what's inside. I haven't tidied it up, so <laughs> we'll see. I'll just work through and show you what I've got. The first thing I've got, it's not a cleaning product, but I also keep extras of hand soaps and things in here. And this is the Method Sweet Water um, Refill Pack. I really like this and I wish that more products did this. You can refill your little hand pump with this and it refills it three times. And it takes up hardly any space in the cupboard, it's just a bit more environmentally friendly in this foil packet. And it's just convenient to have that much. It keeps you kind of brand loyal as well because you know now I've got this I'm gonna keep using the Method one, like well three times at least. And this is a really nice scent. We went through a few of their scents before we settled on this one which is the Sweet Water. Next up is just some white vinegar, it's in a spray bottle. This one is from Wilkinson's. I have tried a little bit with my cleaning products to move to more natural, um, less chemically cleaners. I'm not completely there by a long way, but I actually find that vinegar works really well and I always clean the bathroom with this. Um, it's good for windows too, so you don't get the streaks on it, but if you've got one of those solid um, plastic shower screens, it's, it's really good for those. So I just um, spray this around the bathroom and then buff it all off with a, a damp cloth. The only thing with it probably is the scent, you know, you've got a vinegary smell for, it's only a couple of hours afterwards, um, you should do it when you haven't got people coming round. So I like this one and it lasts for ages, we've had this for a long time. So I also keep my washing detergents in here and I've got this big bottle of Fairy. You can quite often get this on offer so I usually only pay about seven pounds for it and it's three litres, which is really good. We took an awful long time to settle on a washing, washing detergent because both Trevor and I have got quite sensitive skin and this fairy just, we've never had any problems with it. So while some of um, my cleaners and detergents I am looking to replace, this wouldn't be one of them. I'm just happy that it doesn't cause any irritations at the moment, so we'll definitely be sticking with this one. This is the E-Cover or E-Cover um, Stain Remover. It tackles stubborn, stubborn stains. It's really good. This one's nearly empty, but I think I've got another one in there. And it's got this brush top on it, and you just rub that into your stains and put it in. And it's one of those ones, um, so you like brush it onto the stain, put it into the washing machine. It's one of the ones that um, the Ecover, I think they're meant to be a little bit more environmentally friendly. Their tagline is get nature on your side. And I didn't think that it would work that well, but it's really good. So if we've been, you know, in the garden digging or at the allotment, that's a really good one um, to use for stains. And I've, I've repurchased that a few times. This is my comfort fabric conditioner. I really like the scent of this, but I've stopped buying um, fabric conditioner. I used to be quite a big couponer and I still stock up on things when there are deals and offers on and there was a time when I got this really cheaply and this is the last bottle now I haven't bought it it was when this first came out you can see it still says new on and they've got they've had a new range since then it smells really nice but I don't really see what the need is for adding the um, this product to clothes and I've been trying to make some um, little sachets with lavender and lemon verbena in them to go in the drawers with my clothes to keep them smelling fresh but without adding a whole load of product um, to, to them, which is just unnecessary, I guess. But I do like the smell of it, and I wasn't gonna throw it away now once I already had it, so we're slowly getting through this, but usually I only put it in with the bath mats these days. This Goo Gone is quite a new product to me, but it is really good. It's for getting rid of, you know the sticky label, like residue that you get? maybe off wine bottles or we make a lot of jams so we label them up one year but we want to reuse the jars and take the labels off and then you have to leave them to soak for ages it always seems to cause a problem well this you just put a little bit over the sticky mark and 
it, it lifts it right off. You, you have to scrub a, a little bit and it's kind of greasy so you then have to wash the things to get the grease off but it works really well. It was quite expensive, I think it was £10 but I've done all of the jars and wine bottles from this year and there's like a minimal bit gone so I think we'll have that for a long time. So then I've just got another one of those Ecova stain removers in there. Febreze, this is another one that we don't really use very often anymore. It's near Really empty I didn't when I started looking for more environmentally friendlier options I didn't want to just go through my cupboard and throw everything I already had out I kind of want to gradually replace things so this is one that I won't buy again and um, but yeah it, it does it does the job you know fine for freshening things up I quite like this one um, on the sofa our flat is a little bit damp it's not so bad this year because I've made a much bigger effort when I'm drying clothes and things to not do it in the front room but I think I don't know because we've got like an open plan area as well with the kitchen and the cooking the, the sofa seems to cling on to said smell sometimes so the Febreze can be good for that but I probably could also just steam clean the sofa which would do the same job. I've got some travel wash here I think we must have bought this for a trip but I don't know if we've ever used it it's just just one that's in the cupboard there. I, I suppose if you were going on holiday it is a handy size it's within the 100 mils of liquid that you can take but I can't, I can't remember when I bought it and I'm pretty sure it hasn't been used. And then there's some bleach. I do still use bleach. It's, it's, I don't go through bleach as quickly as I used to, but I feel for some jobs, I just feel more comfortable bleaching things. Okay, this drawer at the bottom is kind of a mess. I've got some cleaning sponges in there. Uh, but this is a 20 pack and I think it's like 50p or something for 20 of them. So good value on those. We use those for the washing up. And then under here I've got some, this is bicarbonate of soda. I've just taken the cover off it because the blue kind of matched the blue of my basket. It's an old one, it's out of date. Um, in here somewhere, I'll get to them I'm sure. I've got some toothbrushes and if I've got particularly stubborn stains, if you dip the toothbrush into it and scrub it, um, like on the grouting and around the taps, comes up really well with a little bit of bicarb. This brush, it came free with something. I can't remember what it was and I think I did feel that I was going to use it to scrub the floors, but I never have done. I'm just going to bring this basket out. It's, uh, it's a bit of a mess. <laughs> so I've got a selection of cloths. They're kind of colour coded pinkies just for the front room. This one, it looks kind of gross and stained. And I, I suppose it is really. Um, but I used that for this Pledge Extra Care because I used that on the wooden table. It looks like that's a bit sticky on the bottom. This is this is quite good. I only use it about once a month and the rest of the time I just use a polish. But when I do put it on, I use um, this cloth to put it on and it doesn't come off, it stains. This is like clean, it's been through the wash, but it's just stained the fabric. Maybe I should use the stain remover on that cloth. This one is a microfiber one, so it's good for buffing up the mirrors. It doesn't leave streaks and things. It's really smooth. And then I've just got two regular pink dusters and then I've, for a while all of my cleaning stuff was pink I had a pink cupboard that I kept everything in and we have a pink Hetty the Hoover and what else was pink oh I used to use the pink stuff to clean the top of the oven with and then I had like the pink dusters but I seem to be more moving more over to a blue so recently I saw these microfiber cloths in Wilkinson's and I haven't even used them yet but I bought them because they were of the right colour. <laughs> That's a bit crazy. This one I always use, it's another microfiber but it's a lot less fluffy, it's really smooth and I always use this one to buff the top of the oven. We've got a ceramic hob and uh, that cleans it up nicely. And then this stripy one as well I always use for inside of the oven door. I probably don't need cloths for like every specific job. This one has got a bit of a stain on it. The oven can get quite greasy inside and you get that yellow grease. So for cleaning the top of the oven, I always use this Hob Bright. I brought it when we got our oven about a year ago and it still feels really full. The bicarbonate of soda would do a good job on top of the oven, but it just goes back to that 
there's no point in pouring all of this out when I can still use it but probably not one that I will replace although it does do a good job I know the bicarb can do the same what else is in here oh so these this this is for cleaning your um hiking boots this is foot cleaning gel oh this is the to re-waterproof it and I think oh, that's the one for suede the blue <laughs> can't get them in there just some J cloths, I use those for in the kitchen, and the sink, like wiping down the sides. Oh, I haven't got my, I will get it for you, I haven't got the, oh, I've got an orange method, just um, multi-purpose spray that I use to wipe down all of the sides with. It's in a different cupboard, but I'll get it after because the camera's in the way right now. I've got some bin bags, we don't use those that often now because we've got a smaller like pedal bin. This is the one that I use all of the time on my table. I think my battery light's flashing. Oh, it's really good. It's the um, Lord Sheridan Wood Balsam and it's really thick inside too. That's really thick. So that's the one I use um, every week on the table and then I just do that dark restorer one occasionally. The last couple of things in here are my toothbrushes. So that's what I scrub the grout in with. And then in these ones, see some things that something has leaked in there. It's not so good. You hardly ever clean your cleaning cupboard though, so probably it needs a clean. Uh, these are some wire walls. Again, I don't use them that often, but I didn't know where to store them. And this seems like a good idea because if they get wet, then they go um, rusty and they leak like they've got soap powder in them and you get pink soap bits all over the place so I keep those in there and usually I've got a glass casserole and that's what I tend to need them for because sometimes that one can get a bit stained up so I just quickly grabbed the method um, multi-purpose cleaner it's um, da method daily kitchen non-toxic surface cleaner in clementine scents and we use this all of the time I also actually have the method um, washing up liquid I'll grab that <laughs> I've just managed to pump it when I brought it over. I've actually taken off here, using that goo off the, the labels, and I have this on the kitchen windowsill. And I like this one, it's got the same clementine scent as the orange one that I do the surfaces with. And you can also get the refillable pouches for this. Now that I've got everything out, it seems like I've got loads of cleaning products. I really thought I just had a small basket full of stuff because I keep it all in this cupboard. Turns out that is not the case at all. Oh well, probably some of them I could pare down a little bit, but they they all have their purpose, you know. <laughs> Let me know what your favourite cleaning product is. I have to say I'm a really big fan at the moment of the Method stuff and I, I just like the refillable packs that you get with it and the scent's quite good too, plus they're meant to be more um, environmentally friendly. Whether they are or not, it's not something I've done a lot of research into, but they, they certainly claim to be. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.